I can make money anywhere. Alaska's got lots of good jobs that pay a lot of money. This is what I wanted to do, and this is what I asked to do. We went through a Cold War, and during that Cold War era, we had a lot of threats, uh, most of which that we were concerned about is a potential uh, nuclear strike on our soil. So we built a lot of defenses to be able to detect and counter that threat. Very early on, strategic planners saw Alaska, they saw its position in relation to Russia, to China, and over the pole, and they said if their threat's going to come from somewhere, it's going to come from this direction, and we're going to need something here to detect and to track and to be available for that early warning system. They knew that very early on, and they started with the old tech site. And the old tech site, also known as BMUSE, is a, is a radar that was a uh, physically rotating radar that had fences that they would physically move to detect and track one target at a time. That was kind of the genesis for CLEAR. Our deterrence, though, is more in the aspect that they know that we can detect something from Russia, North Korea, China, and our certain coverage area. So, uh, this radar, using our system, we can track something the size of a softball at 3,000 nautical miles, and we can track multiple objects at the same time. That causes them to have to change the way that they do business in order to either avoid or to somehow find a way of skirting our detection ability. And the reason that we exist is that we can give accurate enough data for the uh, folks at Fort Greeley, or folks down in California to be able to shoot their interceptors and be able to intercept that ICBM in space. There are a lot of stressors because we are in a remote location. We're 80 miles from the nearest major town, which is Fairbanks. We're 30 minutes from the nearest gas station. So you really have to plan what you're doing out here. The reality of our mission is that there has to be people at this remote strategic location in the middle of nowhere, Alaska, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 and 366 on a leap year. We don't get a break from threats. Uh, threats don't stop because we stop and they don't take days off. My priorities, God, family and country, and the uh, last two are really tied in together in this mission because I get to be with my family, but I also get to protect them and my country simultaneously.